everybody, this is Roxy, and I have a Dollar Tree haul, just like it says in the description. Um, yeah, so I didn't get to go this weekend, and my friend and neighbor is a teacher, and she only works Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because she teaches special, um, like advanced uh, studies or whatever. So anyways, we were running idle today, and it's pouring rain out all day. It's going to snow. And so we thought, you know what, we need an Aldi Dollar Tree haul, so, or I mean trip. And so we got a haul. So I'm going to start with the food from Dollar Tree. I tried the other two. Um, am I all... Wait, no. There. I tried the other Dollar or freezer to plate. They were just the chicken. They had like a, a juice you could... Um, what do you call it? Oh, what's it called? Dredge. To dredge your chicken piece, you know, your chicken breast. And then sprinkle stuff on. Dredge it in that. And we tried the Tuscan. And both gave it really high thumbs ups. Um, I have another one that I haven't tried yet. But then I saw this one. And this is even cooler. This is Southwestern. And it's rice and beans. So you do the rice and beans. You know, you put the put poor seasoned rice into a greased pan. Put your frozen chicken on top, chicken breast, and then pour the tomato sauce over. So super, you could do this at when you get home and within an hour be eating dinner. So this is really cool. I think you should check these out, especially working women and men. Um, I work from home, so I can I can do this uh, any time of day. So I am excited to. I love Southwestern. I love Mexican. I, oh, I love it. I love it. I could eat it every day. I practically do. Um, and then I found <clears throat> I'm finding that I I used to never have breakfast. Or I should say, when I worked outside the home, I had breakfast every day. Then I got to where I only just had lunch and dinner. Well, now I only have lunch and dinner, but the last month or so, it's like I'm starving by 11 o'clock. It's like I got to eat something. So then I have lunch, and then by 2.30, 3 o'clock, I'm hungry again. So I thought I better get some things for breakfast. So like today I had... I made a bunch of um, ants on a log. You know, the celery with peanut butter and raisins. So that was good for breakfast. And then I'm making... I have a recipe for bran muffins. And they're like heavy-duty bran muffins. And, you know, you can eat one and you're filled. And um, it also helps with your digestive di digestion system. But I thought I'd try these. I don't know if anybody's tried them. They're 900 calories, cereal bar. Unfortunately, I didn't look at the ingredients. First ingredient is high fructose corn syrup. So, but anyways, I'll give them a try and I'll give you a thumbs up or down on those. And then everybody, my grandma has been talking about these. So I thought I'd give them a try and they better be good. Because if they're not, I'm going to hunt everyone down and give them a dislike on their video because, I don't know, I, they don't look like they'd be good. But everybody's been raving, so you know what? We'll try one right now. Thanks. All right. Oh, look at how cute. Oh, they're cute little things. They're like little tiny Pringles. They smell kind of funny, but they taste okay. Mm -hmm. Not bad. You're all lucky. They're not bad. I like them. Nice and crunchy, and there's no aftertaste. All right, so then I do the little stock up. I just bought one of these, and I can't find it. And then my one that I've had for a few months... 
just decided to bite the dust. So got one of those. I got more of these. I just tried them last time. And I actually really like them. They smell nice and they're not overpowering on the clothes smell. But they do their job, anti-steatic. Very nice. So got some more of those. Alright, and then look at this is new. I'm gonna put this on my Rascog cart. It's a huge super magnet. Let's pull it open. Because I've got a Rascog where I have all my um, st clear stamps. And I'm always um, needing to hang stuff off it. Man, is that cool. Yeah, that is definitely. But I have the little silver clips that Dollar Tree sells. But they kind of don't stick. They they don't they can't handle weight, and I like to hang my um, I have like a little tote bag from the Dollar Tree I got years ago, and I put and if I, if we do swaps on your paper pantry, your paper pantry, I like to hang the incoming swaps off that rascog in a bag. But it takes like three of the silver strip or clips, and then they just gradually. As the weeks and days go by, they fall down. But this, I think, is going to work. That is heavy duty. That's nice. Cool. All right, so then... Um, oh, I found this summertime stuff is next. So this is really cute. It's a dish drainer or dish dryer. I use these all the time. Of course, that the first one I bought was at a uh, container store for like... 30 bucks, I think. It was just ridiculous. And then I found one at, um, I think it was Aldi's. Same thing as the container store one for like four bucks. And now they got them at Dollar Tree for a buck. So I thought that was kind of a cute, that'll be pretty in the summer. All right. And then I found, these are too adorable. My friend got, um, they have pineapple, these, uh, like a margarita glass, and one other. <gasps> umbrellas. I was debating against the umbrellas. And these, and I had the umbrellas. They're so cute. I got to get them anyways, I think. The umbrellas are here, so they flip up. And I had them in my, my tote thing. And then I saw this. And I had to have this. So I went back and got the flamingos, because I'm going to... I have a glass of apple juice every morning. I've talked about that before. And by the way, for those of you who commented on that, let me know if you've tried it and if it's worked because I'm really hoping so. And it works wonders for me. But anyways, ap unfiltered apple juice works wonders. So I'm going to have my apple juice every day in that with one of my straws. Because as it is, I just use paper cups. But I thought that would be kind of fun for summer. And then I saw these. These are in the... I've seen these before, but I thought I might get one. I actually use these when I'm um, doing artwork and stuff because it's all you need. I don't want to get too wound up in an apron. And so my friend Betsy's coming. So I was, I was going to get her one too. I think I'll go back and get her one next time I'm there. But So that's kind of a nice little deal. They fit just night, nice. Nice. They're not going to cover your pants when you're sitting there, you know, but they cover your top and stuff. All right, then I found the emoji aisle. There's a whole section of emoji stuff. And then it's really cute. And I put about five things back because it was super hard to choose. I think, okay, I'll do... This is so cute. This is the only one of these that was left. Otherwise, they have, like... One with glasses, one going, oh, here. One, yeah, they have one of these. They had one of these and one of these. Otherwise, um, and then this one. So I thought that was cute. Okay, so then here's the book. I had another one that had a poop on it that was so cute. And I put it back. Um, Mark Montano, I don't know if you watch him, he did emoji patches and he thought that was ice cream. 
<laughs> and I told him, and he goes, no, it's not. But then he realized it was, but it was cute. Because I thought, why would he want that on his jacket? But because he thought it was a scoop of chocolate ice cream. So anyways, isn't that cute? I thought that'd just be a fun little book to have. Put notes in. I do use my these things up too, by the way. All these little notepads and stuff. And they had a bunch of these, so I picked the little bear with her. Is it a monkey? Yeah, the monkey with heart eyes. And then this is super cool. Oh, I love it. They had a bunch of these too. Isn't that cute with the star sprinkles? And macaroni. Cute. And then this is too cool. Look at all these. Unicorn. I love to see the glasses. Isn't that cute? They had robot pad, glasses pad, this one. Um, I can't tell. Aren't they cute? There's a bunch in here. 500 stickers. So I'm going to start sticking them everywhere. And then last but not least for the emoji stuff is... Um, this. But what's this up here supposed to be? What is that, I wonder? <clears throat> but I got this for Sheila, and I'll tell you why, because it's hilarious. I used to get, you know, they have pet gift box, bark box. There's all kinds of them now. So I got bark box for about four or five months for her. And, you know, she really, there's a lot of treats that are too big for her or I don't want her to have. And there's always a toy in it, so I kind of got tired of it. Like, all these big, huge toys, more like rope toys where you play with them, and she just doesn't get that at all. She didn't even know what a toy was when we got her. And so I quit getting them. And then a few months later, I got this pet gift box because it seemed better. And I only got that for three months, I think, because it kind of, it was getting like we had too many treats. And too many toys, so I stopped that. Well, that was like in October. And every time I get a box now, she sits and stares at it or stares at me if I'm opening it, thinking it's her pet gift box. And I'm not kidding. Because she'll sit there and she'll have to sniff everything. And So then, like a dummy, I started getting little treats. So when I open them, and I, I'd pull a toy out of her bin... So when I opened up my Amazon box, basically, I'd pull a treat out. Because she'd sit, like, last week it happened again, you know, where I kind of forgot. I hadn't getting, been getting boxes for a while. And then last week I got something, and she sat and stared at it and stared at it while Bill and I were talking and doing this and that. And finally I was like, she's not moving. And I looked and I thought, it's the box. So I had to go get her a toy from her bin and get some treats, and she was fine. But, so that's what I did with this, because I'm getting, I ordered something. I'm going to be getting a box probably today or tomorrow. So I thought I'd just put this in there and then throw some treats in again. Because it's kind of cute, but it's sad at the same time, you know, because they're not for her. So anyways, and then last but not least, I found this. Isn't that cute? I just love the polka dots favorite and these <clears throat> I have not seen anybody haul these yet and they're gorgeous I'm not saying I'm the first one I'm the first one I'm just saying I haven't seen them so when I saw them I thought oh we got those last I think they were out at Christmas time or something but then I saw one of them and I was like no wait a second these are new so here's this one they're awesome I love them and now that I kind of figured out a way to make cards, you know, like I'm doing the watercolor thing, I think I'm just going to make a bunch of them. Isn't that cool? They are stepping it up continually. This is my love, mason jars. I've been canning since I was in high school. But look at how cute. The little banners. I mean, it's just adorable. Follow your arrow. That's so cute. Oh, that's funny. I didn't even see that. And, oh, that's my favorite one. Oh, this one's good, too, though. This one's really cute. 
Isn't that cute? I don't know what that's supposed to be. And that's pretty. This, I mean, they're just, and look at, oh my God. That's too much. That kind of looks like one of their patterns. I wonder if they're, oh. this is, I love that. Oh, I should have gotten a couple. And now this is just my favorite. Isn't that cute? I love this. Isn't that great? Oh, I love it. So I wish I would have gotten two of each, but I can't have it all. i leave some for somebody else. Um, so that's my haul, and thank you for watching. I will give you a thumbs up or down on these. I have a feeling it's going to go like that, but we'll see. All right, bye. Remember when I said it was raining all day and we're supposed to get snow? Here it is. Oh, you're going because it's nasty out we were out all kind of for a couple hours and it's really icy cold then it was raining hard but I'm it's probably warming up a little bit because it's snowing now or maybe getting colder I don't know I'm not a meteorologist but there it is they pretty it's pretty if it doesn't say, but see, it's going to get really slushy and icy on the way home now. So I better tell Scrubby to drive slow. Because that is no fun. Because that's when people get crazy. It's like they just get crazy. They don't know how to drive all of a sudden. And <clears throat> instead of slowing down, they speed up and cut people off. So anyways, there it is, May 1st, 2017. I think that's the latest ever I've that I can remember. Maybe not. I don't know. All right. Bye now.